So we're heading off on Thunder Child this morning to do our world record attempt. We have a bit of a weather window here now and without having a crystal ball it looks like the best chance we'll have this month as the long range outlook is for continuous frontal systems moving over our island. You are set? We are mate, yeah. Yeah, yeah as set as we're going to be. Just Best of luck anyway. Thanks very much. Nine o'clock the old head can sail. Well actually, or, sorry, 10, 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock. Yeah. Maybe 10.30 at this rate. I'm going east of all. At the moment we've an anti-cyclone centred over Ireland with winds rotating anti-clockwise. Best of luck guys, have a good run, okay? There's a bit of weather along the south and west coast this morning, so rather than head west and be punching into it, we've decided to head eastward and travel anti-clockwise. That way, running along the south coast and up the east coast, we'll have the seas behind us. The forecast for Rockhill is about as good as we can expect realistically, with waves of only one metre forecast for the night, with low winds. We'll be punching into the swell from Port Rush out to Rockall, but once we round Rockall we'll have it on the beam, and the seas that were up now on the west coast should have died down by then, and we should have a reasonably calm passage down the west and south coast, coming back into Cove around 9 to 10 p.m. tomorrow. Thunderchild was designed to be able to deal with rough weather and tested extensively during this winter. Obviously we planned the run to avoid any bad weather, but it's reassuring to know that should we have problems and get caught out in the North Atlantic by the approaching gale due to hit Rockall Wednesday afternoon, Thunderchild would be able to keep us safe. The crew have trained for worst case scenarios as well. Oh, well, the most important thing is to cross the finish line. So we must look after Thunderchild and not break her. That said, we will push her as hard as we can to try and set a good time. Okay, so we're at the start line off Kinsale, off the old head of Kinsale now. It's just two or three minutes before 10 o'clock and the plan is to just head off at 10. Kieran's having a quick conversation with the guys at 96 FM and then we'll be ready to go. How are you doing PJ? I'm just talking to the race coordinator there, sure, so I just have to give him a, a go. Uh, Thunder Child, let's go Justin. Yeah, go, go, go. All the to go and have a very safe journey. Best of luck. Yeah, thank you Justin, all the best. Thunder Child, Thunder Child, Car Post Card Radio, go ahead over. Uh, Car Post Card Radio, this is Thunder Child, and uh, just waiting to get the TR over. Roger, Thunder Child, uh, go ahead over. At present there, we're just in the middle of Dungarvan Bay. Uh, Dunmore East is ahead of us to port. Um, happy speed, 42 knots. Yeah. Conditions have been quite hard here. We've got 1.5, maybe touching two metres of a swell here. The wind conditions about blowing about force four. Running downwind at about 41 knots, but we are overtaking the waves, so we are jumping a lot. But boat's handling it well. Yeah, hopefully when we turn around the sword piece, we'll get a lighter passage. So we're just coming up to the southern side of the Arklow wind farms, running up the east coast. Conditions aren't great really, to be honest. We have had a bit of an incident. We did lose the... Uh, hydraulic oil reservoir and electro-hydraulic pump for the bow pit and that's flooded the four peak with hydraulic oil so we're just stay out of that compartment now and our shore based team is alerted and basically when we make port rush during the refueling stop we'll have to send them in there and they'll just have to clean up the oil it's not a major issue because it's not fundamentally important for the boat the, uh, bow fins are really just for operation in big following seas and we don't expect to get any big following seas so it's not a major issue. Right. That, that cheap water bottle you f***ing is, is leaking every time we pitch. 
just now. And we've had some nasty weather here. Got some tidal influence. Wind's not too bad, it's already around force four, but got quite a nasty swell of wind against tide conditions. We're down to 28, 30 knots here now, punching into it. Won't push it too hard now, because this is where we break the boat. Yeah. Unexpected wave at the wrong angle. That's the last thing we want. So we're just nursing our through it here now. Making as good speed as we can. And hopefully when we round the next headland, we'll get out of this and things might calm down a little bit. So we're now entering Port Rush. Our plan is to refuel the boat with around 5,000 litres of fuel, more than enough for the long leg out to Rocco. We also have to get our ground crew aboard to clean the spilled hydraulic oil in the forward cabin. It's important because that's where the toilet is. The guys from Caterpillar are going to come aboard and check over the engines, but they haven't missed a beat, so I don't expect they'll have much to do. Still, it's great to have them here just in case. Here we have Mary on the helm at three in the morning. 
training for for the past few months with Carl on the Corp pilot boat during the night so that she was able to do the night passage and give us all a chance to have some kit. She's doing fantastic. Here we have Sleeping Beauty. Uh, <laughs> a bit of a kip. Any other Sleeping Beauty? Tucked in there. Yeah, yeah. Do you able to get any sleep? No. Nah, I tried. Yeah. Yeah, well. That's our flown camera. Working pretty nicely. Mary? Yeah. Right. Passage is going well now. It's half past three in the morning. Seas have died down, it's pretty calm here now. We're still just clipping along at about 32, 33 knots. Yeah, just don't want to put any stress on the boat or the crew. So yeah, things are going pretty nicely now. It's starting to get light soon. So we should be able to see what on the radar in a minute. dinghy ready. So here we are off Rockall. This is the reason we've come all this way. Plan is that the boys will get into the dinghy, get close to the rock and then swim over and try and get on it. We'll also try and get some photographs of Thunder Child with the rock in the background. Conditions are pretty nice here. A little bit of a swell running but not too much wind but the wind is picking up so we do need to get this done. It's got to be one of the most fabulous sunsets I've ever seen. This is why we come all this way, so here we are, rock on. Rock on as the sun rises. It's getting much cooler than that. You'll have to act quick now. Go in there. Okay. Oh, you can't go in again, sir. No, it's quite a bit dangerous. 
scared. Yeah. It's too much. What, is it, you see this front face back? Yeah, but the rock's on the other side. Yeah. i got to say this is against my better judgment. You know? That's a very oh. little dinghy. You know, you get your thrown off against that. Bang your foot in the head. Needed just to touch it. There's few, few men in this world have touched that, okay? So, well done, boys. Okay, well, yeah, that's me, that's me. Don't fucking lose it! It's the only bit of rock on! Bit of rock on! Ah, you look so funny in the, in the little dinghy. You need to see the square of the yard, like the two of you. Hey, you look like the rock there now. Yeah. There's more for you. We're leaving Ballyglass now, having refuelled again. We've only had to take on a couple of thousand litres this time, as the run home is the shortest leg. The guys from the RNLI who came out to meet us were great, giving us some grub and a cup of tea at their station, but we do need to push on now, as we want to do a special stop on the way home. So we're laying this reef in honour of the crew of Rescue 116 who tragically perished at this spot. Okay, okay uh, next headland is Dorsey Head. We'll be off and across the port and running on a course of 115 to the mizzen. Uh, throughout the trip, they, they've been faultless. Uh, we've, we've had absolutely no faults with the engine throughout the trip, uh, which has been great because we've, we've had nothing to contend with on the engine side. Uh, overall, the boat has handled and performed really well. So we're on the final leg now. We're just passing, we're passing the mizzen, yeah? Mizzen head, yeah. Mizzen head, and we can see fast net ahead of us. We're going to push on hard now, we've increased speed to about 45, 46 knots. Still only got about 83% on the engine load, which isn't hurting the engines too bad. 
But if we can get there just before 8 o'clock, that will put us just under 30, 34 hours. So that's the plan. Boat's running really nicely now. We've got absolutely flat calm seas like a mirror. So, assuming nothing bad happens now, we can just keep this speed up. We should make a successful record attempt in under 34 hours. Here's hoping. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay, we're going to change.